When I was seven, my mom left home. On my birthday, actually. <laughs> and until the day he died, my father believed that she was abducted by aliens. Ooh, so are we really alone in the universe? That's what the new movie, Beyond the Sky, is all about. And Ryan Carnes plays a man who's been hearing about close encounters his whole life, but is finally becoming a believer. The movie opens tomorrow in theaters and on demand, and Ryan is here. Welcome. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you. It's good to be here. Okay, so you have been hearing about a little something going on, but now what changes that makes you a believer? Uh, well, what changes is I, I meet this girl uh, named Emily, who's a local, mm -hmm. where, where my, uh, my sidekick and I go to, to check out this alien abduction, or, well, it's, it's an alien convention. So I, we meet this girl, and she tells us about experiences that she's been having every seven years on her birthday. Mm -hmm. And I'm still very skeptical and cynical, but as, mm -hmm. as time goes on and as I go on the journey with her, I start to see some weird things that, that are kind of more, more, more than meets the eye. Uh -huh. Tell me a little bit more about your character. I mean, you... you you kind of believe in the beginning, but are you still kind of skeptical most of the movie? Uh, very skeptical. And, okay. and in fact, I, I don't believe at all. And I think as much as anything, I don't want to believe. Because the, as you know, in the, in the clip that we watched, the, my mm -hmm. father, who we reference in that clip, um, he, was, he was a diehard kind of crazy, crazy guy who believed in, was a, he was obsessed with mm -hmm. aliens and, and the abduction phenomenon. And it, and it wrecked my life as a kid. His, his obsession wrecked my life, it wrecked his marriage with my mother. And so I'm coming from a very, very particular point of view. And it's very important to me, I think, for my own sense of well-being mm -hmm. and, and sanity to, to disprove what my father always said was true. And while this movie is fictional, there are a lot of people that believe. Absolutely. Yeah. Did there it are. change your real views <laughs> of playing this movie? Well, I've, I've always been fascinated by, by the possibility of, of life beyond human life. Mm -hmm. and, and, I, and I do believe that, that it's, it would be naive to think that in, in the entire universe that there's not other life other than what we see and what, what's here on planet Earth. And it's, it's interesting, you know, I was, I was reading a story, a cover article in the LA Weekly about six months before I got the audition for this film about Travis Walton, who's the subject of the most well-publicized mm -hmm. and highly documented uh, alien abduction case, mm -hmm. in, in, in at least in the US. And there was a movie called Fire in the Sky made yeah. about Travis. And I was reading this article thinking, gosh, I, I've always been so curious. Yeah. I've always wanted to see a UFO. I've always wanted to see an alien, but I never have, at least yeah. that I'm aware of. <laughs> And, and then I got this audition and, and got cast in the role. So it was, it was really cool for me to get to, to explore uh, a personal curiosity. Uh -huh. And this is a role really quite different than what we're used to seeing you. I mean, you were on soap operas and did a lot of other things, but this is a little different for you. Yeah, this is a little, uh, you know, it's a, it's a little grittier and, and a little, uh, you know, it, it's, soap operas move so quickly. We, mm -hmm. we have to shoot, as, as you know, being in a new studio, it's mm -hmm. like boom, 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 yeah. everything's very fast. And, and on this, you know, we had, I think, six weeks to shoot and okay. shot in three different states and we just had a bit more time to to kind of explore this this story that we were telling uh, we often think about the desert for these shots so were you spending a lot of time in the desert we yeah we did spend some time in the desert we we shot outside of albuquerque actually mm -hmm. on, a, on a real okay. indian reservation okay. and then we shot in the i would say like i would call it like sort of desertous mountainous plateaus mm -hmm. of arizona okay. so we we had a variety of scenery all right ryan thank you so much and again Beyond the Sky opens tomorrow in theaters, on demand, and digital HD. For more information, just head to our website, kcal9.com, and click Scene on TV.